Hi, it's Katrina. From powerful exoskeletons that Tony Stark would be proud of, to second skin bodysuits that will protect you from viruses, here are nine of the world's most powerful and terrifying uniforms. Number 9. Exoskeletons the U.S., Russia, France, and several other militaries hope to eventually use exoskeleton gear to bring their soldiers one step closer towards superhuman status. Exoskeletons aid movement by exerting force on the wearer's body. They're designed to protect soldiers from strain injuries and support strength and endurance, enabling individuals to run faster and lift heavier objects. These technologies are still in the research and development stages. In 2013, the United States Special Operations Command, or SOCOM, launched its Tactical Assault Light Operator Suit, Talos program, promising the development of an Iron Man-style uniform by 2018. It was mostly intended for the lead operator of a squad, not the entire army, and would have layers of smart materials, sensors, would be bulletproof, weaponized, and give the wearer enhanced strength and perception. Sounds pretty good, right? Except 2018 was last year, and they keep missing the deadlines and the prototype was ultimately deemed unsuitable for close combat. The $80 million Talos program wasn't a total loss, however. We are getting closer and closer to an Iron Man suit. From this project development came several other promising technologies, which may be useful for future projects. Meanwhile, Russia's Ministry of Defense flaunted its third-generation Ratnik 3 suit. Nicknamed the Star Wars suit, it's equipped with a powered exoskeleton to enhance stamina and strength, as well as five high-tech integrated systems, including life support. Pittsburgh-based Humotech and the volunteer organization Exoskeleton Report recently teamed up to lead ASTM International's Exotechnology Center of Excellence, a new research and development hub with several locations. The organization is partnering with the U.S. Army Combat Capabilities Development Command Soldier Center, or the CCDC Soldier Center, which has initiated a $6.9 million two-year contract for exoskeleton development. Almost there! Number 8. Third Arm The Third Arm is the product of a shared vision between engineers from the U.S. Army Research Laboratory at Aberdeen Proving Ground in Maryland, whose goal was to improve soldier lethality. It relieves a soldier's arms of a weapon's weight by stabilizing the weapon and evenly distributing its weight. The prototype weighs just four pounds and works without batteries. Unlike earlier versions of the experimental device, the third arm can be used in the prone fighting position. Active duty troops used the weapon in live fire trials during a pilot study. The results revealed that it reduced arm fatigue and muscle activation for some soldiers and also led to improved marksmanship. As of May 2018, the third arm had been successfully tested on M4-type weapons and the M249 and M240B machine guns. The test showed that the third arm takes the weight of the 27-pound M240B completely off of a soldier's arms. Despite its success so far, the third arm is still in the early development stages. The next steps are to conduct a larger study with more participants and explore the device's potential capacity for bigger weapons. One of the Third Arm's designers, mechanical engineer Dan Bakel, explained that the final product may look much different than the current prototype, as further experimentation and refining are carried out. So stay tuned. Number 7. Onyx The Onyx is a powered lower body exoskeleton developed by Lockheed Martin as part of the U.S. Army's Exoskeletons program. It's designed to make it easier for emergency responders, soldiers, and workers to perform arduous tasks in challenging environments by enhancing endurance and strength. Sounds good, right? The device is equipped with sensors that measure the wearer's speed, direction, and angle of movement. The sensors communicate this information to an onboard computer, which controls electromechanical actuators at the knees, delivering the necessary torque to assist knee flexion and extension. As a result, activities such as traversing terrain, squatting, and kneeling require less energy. The Onyx is especially helpful on staircases and inclined surfaces, and for carrying heavy loads over long distances. It performed well during initial testing and even won a popular science award last year, but needs to be put through more rigorous trials. And now for number six, but first, let me know if you think the Iron Man suit will come to life in the comments below. And quick shout out to a Three Dog Knight and the Bandit Boys for their nice comments. Hope I can share something new with you today. 
Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on more videos like these. Number 6. Duffy Exoboot The Maynard, Massachusetts-based tech startup Duffy Inc. is an awardee of the U.S. Army's Exoskeletons program. It created the Exoboot, an autonomous exoskeleton that provides localized support to the ankle and foot. Collaborative research between the Army and Duffy's co-founders at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology inspired the concept for the Exoboot. The device uses something called Flexible Scalable Electronics Architecture, or FLEX-C, technology, which helps with motion control and focuses on simplifying and increasing the speed of the electronics used in wearable robotics. While the Army's goal is to create full-body exoskeletons, it's considering the Exoboot for further development because it's a mature device that could potentially be put into official use sooner than a conceptual full-body suit. The selection of exoskeletons that move forward in the program will depend partially on participant feedback. This comes as good news for the Exoboot, as some members of the Army have already tested the device and reportedly gave positive feedback. Number 5. Liquid Armor One of the most historically challenging aspects of body armor is the tendency for protective materials to be bulky, heavy, and difficult to move around in, forcing designers to choose between developing an impractical product or one that leaves certain parts of the body exposed for better movement. Which do you prefer? In recent years, developers have started working on a new type of armor that will be lightweight and flexible without sacrificing protectiveness. It's called Liquid Armor, and it's created by adding liquid to existing armor materials. One of the main types of liquid armor currently being developed has a DuPont Kevlar foundation. Kevlar is currently used in bulletproof vests and expands to help disperse the impact of bullets over a larger area. As effective as Kevlar is, it's heavy and bulky because it takes 20 to 40 layers of the material to stop a bullet. By injecting two different liquids into Kevlar, less layers may be required for effective protection. One of them is Shear Thickening Fluid, or STF, which hardens within milliseconds of being struck. Shear Thinning Fluid, on the other hand, loosens when shaken. Liquid-treated Kevlar is just as flexible as untreated material, but it's much stronger, with four layers having the same strength as regular Kevlar. Liquid armor is not ready for military use, but laboratory results indicate that the product has realistic potential. Number 4. Explosion-Proof Suit In April 2016, Russian Deputy Prime Minister Dmitry Rogozin released footage of a woman walking through what looks like an exploding minefield and wearing what appears to be an explosion-proof suit. By the time she emerges from the dramatic clouds of smoke, her once white Terminator suit is heavily charred. The woman is rewarded for her seemingly brave feat with a bouquet of roses. Ragozin tweeted that the suit gave pitiful semblance to the extraordinary test subject underneath, along with a comment about Russian women being unafraid to walk through minefields. Yahoo News reported that the Central Research Institute of Precision Machine Building for Russian Armed Forces developed the suit, but little else is known about it. Some people speculated that the video was made possible through fancy pyrotechnics and cinematic effects, rather than any protective properties the suit may or may not have. As interesting engineering writer Trevor English pointed out, if you look closely, there's no shrapnel in the footage, and the explosions consist merely of fire and smoke. Russia has a reputation for talking up its military equipment and capabilities, but failing to prove its claims. The lack of available information about the suit suggests that this may be yet another instance of Russia exaggerating its military prowess, while instead demonstrating its talent for special effects. Or is it? They like to keep you guessing. Number 3. Dev Tac Ronin Tactical Ballistic Helmet The Dev Tac Ronin Kevlar Tactical Ballistic Helmet is a bulletproof helmet that provides protection up to 44 magnum rounds. DevTac is based in Yokohama, Japan, and was originally an airsoft company. Its founder and chief designer, Wesley Shibata, began designing airsoft face masks in 2004, when he realized that the ones on the market were uncomfortable and prone to fogging. During that time, he also began researching ballistic helmets. The company's Ronin Ballistic Helmet was a game changer. It came out in 2016, and in 2017, it met the U.S. National Institute of Justice Level 3A Body Protection Armor Guidelines. The mask is held together by super-strong neodymium magnets and provides full face protection as well as minimal obstruction when using scopes or sights. It has a built-in defogging system, including a fan and special vents, and each lens was designed by an aerodynamic engineer from Suzuki. 
Prices start at around $1,350. For those who think the helmet is cool but don't foresee needing protection from bullets, there's a non-ballistic version starting at $350. Number 2. Second Skin Protective clothing and gear isn't just about being bulletproof, reducing physical strain, and moving efficiently. Soldiers in combat zones face the ever-present threat of chemical and biological threats, and fighting in gas masks and full protection in extreme climates has historically proven to be miserable, inefficient, and dangerous. An individual clad in full protective gear quickly became exhausted from the heat and fought poorly. A knight in shining armor might look amazing, but they probably weren't going to get very far. A recently developed technology called Second Skin aims to shield military members, first responders, and other emergency workers from dangerous chemicals, while also allowing for air circulation and for water vapor to escape. Second Skin is made with something called carbon nanotubes, which are 5,000 times smaller than the diameter of a human hair. Carbon nanotubes effectively block toxic and biological agents as well as viruses. The fabric is also breathable, allowing water vapor and air to pass freely. Pretty cool, huh? Experts believe that second skin technology will be ready for military use within the next several years and that it will also fulfill various civilian needs. While fabric isn't as outwardly exciting as exoskeletons or bulletproof helmets, it's just one of several potentially life-saving components that will make up the soldier of the future's uniform. Number 1. Warming Fabric Sometimes soldiers face the opposite problem of unforgiving heat and must instead survive in the extreme cold. In recent years, chemist Elizabeth Hurst and bioengineer Paola D'Angelo began developing a new type of winter fabric that would help military personnel stay warm on the battlefield. Building on the previous work of Stanford University scientists Yi Kui and Po Chun Zhu, Hurst and D'Angelo are working to incorporate something called conductive nanowires into high-performance fabrics. The ideal final product will be lightweight and breathable, yet capable of reflecting someone's body heat back toward their skin. It will also carry an electrical current, enabling the delivery of extra heat via the use of batteries. The fabric would most likely be used for underwear. It won't solve all of the military's climate-related challenges and isn't without its own problems. Due to its limited ability to wick away moisture, the fabric could potentially become soaked in sweat and then freeze. Researchers are currently trying to resolve this issue with the use of hydrogels, which have a high sweat absorption capacity. The product is in its early research stages, but the hope is that in addition to being used for underwear, it will also be used for socks and gloves and that it may eventually find its way into the civilian world. That's what we're all hoping. Thanks for watching! Weren't these uniforms cool? Which one was your favorite? Do you think we'll see any on the battlefield anytime soon? Let me know in the comments below and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. See you soon! Bye!